Hello governors and welcome back to Star Citizen. I'm Stranky and today we're gonna go and find Benny's Henge. Um Just keep boosting. So how do you get to Benny's Henge? It's a little bit um it's not really tricky. Um What you want to do is you, you pass the Starfarer X and then you keep the um, the asteroid to one side of you and the moon to the other side of you like I'm doing right now and when you're around a hundred-ish kilometers away you start to see a red light which you can see I'm gonna just redirect myself I will lose my thing it's right here in my crosshairs and I'm gonna boost up again then when you get uh, a bit closer you'll see there's a light one and a dark one the reason there is uh, a light one and a dark one is that one would be um, one beacon and the other is two beacons and you actually you want to go towards the one with two beacons I, I'm going by how it was in 2.6 I don't know if it's changed in 2.6.1 um, so we'll f soon find out but I'm just letting you know why I'm going this way um, and then um, once you find those two beacons you're very very close to Benny's Henge you should be able to see it so uh, yeah we'll see if we can find it and if there's been any updates to it I know um, it seems a bit of a what's the word a dead end like there's nothing there after I mean you're supposed to find it through a bunch of clues but I found out how to get there without following the clues um, so uh, having to get there by following a bunch of clues um, you can actually start seeing now um, there's a second red blibbing just above the 555 which is my speed um, it's just between how do I say without turning just above the 555 I don't know if you can see it if you're on a smaller screen um, well that's the the lighter one in fact there's an, another one that just appeared now so I have three of them which is um, between the two 100s so now I have three on screen but I think the one I'm going towards is the correct one I hope it is anyway we'll have to see it right now is still the brighter one I think I think I could release a mouse and actually point at them but um, I don't want to lose my speed because you uh, you lose your boost if you start turning the ship so I don't want to do that so but you can probably see they get a bit brighter now um, but yeah so you follow all of these things and um, then you get to Benny's Henge as they call it and there's it's a nice thing to see but there's no uh, treasure there's no reward apart from what you find um, so I don't know if they're gonna add like some credits or whatnot because like the actual machines that you find along the way so they say free credits so it kind of makes sense if they had like a bunch of free credits along the way so you find one and you get a clue to the next one then you find the next one and each time you get I don't know a couple hundred credits then when you find the last one maybe you get a few thousand who knows but for now I don't think there is 
think you can just about see it separating into two two dots now um, as we get a bit closer you see that it's actually is two lights I'll keep, try and keep my speed up we'll run out of boost fuel soon but it's okay once we've been to Benny's Henge um, we can get on to other things Link is down. Okay, we can start hearing it now. It's very hard to judge distance. Here we are. We're almost there. You can start hearing the music. And this is where you actually get the scale of things, so see that little thing down there? That's Benny's Henge. So these are the beacons we've been following. tiny place then we're gonna get out and it's quite big we'll go on foot as I like to say well, it's not that it's quite big but it's um, Not as tiny as it looks from outside. From up there, it looks really tiny. Let me get down. See, it's quite big. Um, there's the perpetrator. See, grab creds. Should be able to come grab. 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 See, that's how it should work. They've come grabbing all the credits. I don't think there's been any updates here. All the music is like going over itself. Not if there's anything around here. I haven't really been around here. Nah. It's just a fake power plant or something. He did a lot of work, didn't he? Oh no. We're under Benny's Henge. We're trapped. Can we get up? Oh no. I'm stuck. Call emergency services. <laughs> um. Right, probably that it's time for an alt backspace. That make quite a nice screenshot actually. Alright, so we've respawned. So yeah, be careful when going around Benny's Henge, because you might just get yourself trapped. Um Right, so what are we gonna do for the rest of the episode today? Maybe we should try Comma Ray. That doesn't seem to want to work. 
that one works. Where are you going, mate? Is it frozen? I think the game is frozen. Well, the chat's still working. Unfortunately, our automated system is unable to access that ship at this time. Okay, take your time. Then. Please try again later, or select a different ship. Can we have a screen, please? No. Try this one. So the only one that was working was this one, which now isn't working. Ah, this one seems to work. Right, we'll try the wildfire again. Hopefully, it doesn't crash the game. Okay. AO7. Let's check our gun situation, because we might still have this. Yeah, we can. We can equip it. There we go. That's quite good. I don't know how it remembered that. It didn't remember anything else, but it remembered we had that gun. I remember back in the day. First thing you'd do when you'd log into Star Citizen, because it wasn't a gun shop, would be you'd head off to Korea to grab a free gun and probably get shot when you're there, because everyone was doing the same thing. And that was pretty much the gameplay back then. So it's expanded quite a lot. Um, In. Pilot seat. Oh, hang on, there we go. These hornets have a very, very funny um, very funny thing to choose the the seats. Oh look, there's a proper staff area there, not a broken one. Is anyone in it? Uh, someone seems to be in it. what they look like before they get all exploded and smashed if you haven't seen one big ship well, there's someone going in it now Got wind of us, I think. Is the door open? Right, that's his ship.
Not sure what he's doing. It's like jumping around there. Let's go and see. We can get in from up here. But maybe we can't. Oops, we just broke our legs. What's that noise? We'll try that again, but apparently that killed us. <laughs> All right, so much for that. We broke our legs so badly that when we floated in the air, we died. I guess we did fall like two stories. That ship is gargantuan. Kind of wanted to show you um, what it looks like when you're when you're in it properly. Um, yeah, we'll go out. It's down here. So if we press that, is it gonna work? I don't say the door's bugged now. Now the airlocks are bugged. All right, we'll try the other side. Code one million and two or oh, ten thousand and two. Is that me? Is that my internet gone down? No, my internet's up. Um I guess we'll have to call this the end of an episode. I'm really sorry about that. I wanted to show you that Starfarer, but well, there'll be another time. So anyway, yes, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Stranky. This has been Star Citizen. Until next time, bye-bye.